Hello, my name is Daphne, and I'm interested in how plants respond to their environments um, at different time scales. So from the minute by minute time scale, the daily time scale, or the whole developmental time scale. So from the minute by minute time scale, um, my lab's particularly interested in how plants respond to the sunrise. So we actually have in our lab, um, we're simulating sunrises from all over the world with like our lighting system. So we can make like the red light come on and then the blue light come on, um, simulating real sunrises and seeing how plants respond to that. Um, we're also interested in how um, plants regulate their gene expression across um, the day. So um, uh, how are they uh, anticipating the different stresses that come at different times of day? Um, and we're also interested in um, how plants integrate that information to determine when they do different key developmental transitions. And we're also interested in the heterogeneity in this. So how do different, um, different plants might have different internal ages compared to the external time. So some plants might develop faster than others. And uh, interestingly, um, we think that the clock, the daily clock, is really associated with how, uh, how quickly plants age. So we're interested in pursuing those kinds of connections. My lab is actually collaborating pretty closely with um, vertical farming. Um, so vertical farming is when you grow plants inside. And the nice thing about growing plants inside is you can control the lighting system, the temperature. And what, we're in, what we can do is we can kind of design things like the perfect sunrise to maximize nutritional content or um, maximize yield or um, to synchronize plants so they're uniform and um, that way there's less food waste. I came to plant sciences completely by accident. I started off knowing that I want to do a type of research that had both like compute, a computational aspect and an experimental aspect. Um, but my PhD was actually in hemopoietic stem cells. But my PhD supervisor um, decided to go into industry and um, on a quite short notice. So fortunately, he helped me arrange me um, a postdoc afterwards, given that he was transitioning to industry so quickly. And that was in plant sciences. And so I was kind of thrown into the deep end with plant sciences. But um, my uh, postdoctoral supervisor was a great mentor and I learned very quickly. And I was fortunate to be part of the team that um, identified uh, one of the key temperature sensors in plants. And that helped launch my career and um, got me interested in how plants sense temperature. And actually how plants sense temperature is really closely related to how plants sense light. So uh, that's kind of been a focal point in my career, how um, does light sensing and temperature sensing interact? I wasn't really particularly interested in plants beforehand, but as I started doing more research in plants, I realized that it was a really perfect system for the kind of work that I was interested in because um, I, uh, I come from a computational background. Actually, my first degree was in um, computer science and biology because in the US you can do degrees in multiple subjects. Um, but uh, with, with um, mammalian studies or things like that, you're really limited in your sample sizes. Um, you, can't, uh, you, 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 you can't do ex that many experiments on animals because it's unethical. Um, but with uh, plant sciences, you can kind of scale everything up and do things at the scale where you can begin to apply tools like machine learning. And in addition, um, the regulation of genes in plants is something that's um, uh, particularly interesting in that um, a lot of uh, the machinery that turns genes on and off actually happens relatively close to the genes themselves. So, the, um, so because of that, it's a much more tractable problem than in mammals where um, a piece of regulatory machinery could be like on a different chromosome. Um, so it's, it's uh, plants uh, actually um, fit in with the kind of work that I wanted to do and 
form a really tractable system for being able to do that? Well, I really like um, having a, a team of researchers um, where I'm supporting PhD students and postdocs and helping them develop a sense of ownership about their projects and also helping them collaborate with each other and finding the intersections of their work. And that is just a lot of fun. And I like coming up with new research questions and um, brainstorming as a team about like the best ways to go about answering those questions.